Alrighty, folks, you know I'm having a great Sunday morning because we're now 3-0, and my last $3.99 daily best plays on my premium page. The daily best play is a package on my premium site. It gives you access to one premium selection every single day for the next 30 days. The math works out to be just six cents a day. We had the Sixers yesterday as my daily best play. They got the job done over OKC. They actually scored 127 points in that ball game. And the good news is, folks, I have another daily best play going off here today for just $1.99 for 30 days of service. Now, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on the free videos and what I do on my premium site. Well, what I do here, uh, what I do here with the free videos is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side, and total. What I do on my premium site is, well, I actually share with you which one of these free plays I actually like the best. And if you want to access every single premium selection of mine, you may want to think about signing up for my full access, all-inclusive chairman package. Chairman members get access to every single premium selection of mine, every single package, every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, you also get access to my chairman podcast, absolutely free. It's included with your purchase. Once again, folks, I'm 3-0 in my last three daily best plays, 4-2 in my last six extra daily picks. And finally, folks, I'm 4-0 in my last four college basketball tier package plays. And the good news is I have picks going off in all of those packages here today. It's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with that, folks, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to take a look at the Panthers at the Titans, 1 o'clock Eastern kickoff. Tennessee's the three-point favorite, totals 36. And as bad as the Titans have been all season, well, all three of their wins have come at Nissan Stadium. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, the Panthers have yet to record a victory on the road. These guys are winless in five tries away from Charlotte. And of course, I think the big X factor in this one is going to be that running game of Tennessee. Derrick Henry still rushing for over four yards a carry. And of course, they're going up against a Carolina defense who's in the bottom 10 and stopping the run themselves. And another issue for this Carolina D has been, well, points allowed, plain and simple. Uh, these guys give up uh, more points a game than any other team besides one. Now, injury-wise, Franklin, Haynes, and Louvue are questionable. Uh, Corbett, Boodle, Horst, uh, I'm sorry, Hurst, uh, Chin, Grossmatos, Henderson, and Horn are out. We offer Tennessee on the other side. Edmonds and Gifford are questionable for them. Uh, Weather-wise, cloudy and probably wet at kickoff. Looking at a 10-mile-an-hour wind as well. So probably look for that total to move downward. And speaking of the total, the Titans have seen the under cash in 70% of their ball games this year. And no real surprise, on the other side, the Panthers are 7-3 to the under for the entire season themselves. Give me Tennessee minus three under 36. Next breakdown, it is going to be Bills, Eagles, 425 Eastern start time. Philadelphia is minus three and a half at the link, totals 48. And even though the birds are coming fresh off a solid victory over Kansas City, they do play their worst defense at home. And when it comes to the point spread, they've also failed to cover in two of four at the link. They're facing a Buffalo team who Still moves the sticks uh, despite their recent struggles. Uh, Buffalo's a top five point producing team on the road. And uh, I do really think they'll be able to alleviate some of this Philadelphia pass rush because this Buffalo O-line allows fewer sacks a game than any other team in the NFL. So they're doing a nice job protecting the quarterback. Now, injury-wise, Rapp, Jackson, and Knox are out for Buffalo. Maddox, Goddard, Calcaterra. And Evans are out for the Birds. Uh, keep an eye on Quez Watkins as well. Uh, he is questionable out of that receiver position. Now, weather-wise, wet and sloppy in South Philly here uh, this evening. A uh, slight win by kickoff as well. When it comes to the total, four out of Philly's last six outings did stay under the number. Unders against the likes of Kansas City, Miami, and the New York Jets. And, of course, that Jets game was a rainy mess. Plus, you have unders against Miami, uh, in the Jets I just mentioned, 
those are uh, in the same division as Buffalo. So uh, kind of seeing a trend there. Now the Bills saw their last four games all stay under the number. Six and one to the under in their last seven. Give me Buffalo plus three and a half, under 48. Next and final breakdown for the video, Ravens Chargers at 8.20 p.m. East. Baltimore is the three-point favorite, totals 48. Now, uh, I do think the Ravens can really exploit this porous Charger defense. Uh, LA's giving up a ton of yards on their home field this year. Meanwhile, Baltimore's rushing attack is the best in the game. These guys gain over a buck fifty-five a game on the ground. That is best in the league. Now, injury-wise, Stanley, Kohler, Harrison, Humphrey, Flowers, and Beckham are questionable. Andrews and Simpson are out. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, Muse, Bosa, and Vanit are uh, inactive. Everett and Guyton are also questionable. Uh, four out of Baltimore's last five ball games did get over the total. Overs against the likes of the Bengals, Browns, and uh, Cardinals. Give me Baltimore minus three over 48. And with that, folks, now it's time for our quick pick recap. Titans minus three under 36. Give me the over 48 in the Jags Texans game. Giants plus four under 34. Saints minus two under 43. Steelers minus two and a half under 36. Buccaneers plus three over 45 and a half. Browns plus two over 37. Cardinals plus three over 45. Bills plus three and a half under 48. Raiders plus 10 under 44. With my next and final free pick, give me the Ravens minus three over 48. And with that, folks, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on my premium page. Now, if you do end up getting a membership here today on patreon.com slash Brock page, just a friendly reminder, you're going to get access to that membership every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. That's why I always tell folks that Chairman Package, it's a full access, all-inclusive membership. It gives you access to every single premium selection of mine, every single package, every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, you also get access to my Chairman Podcast absolutely free. It's included with your purchase. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on the free video. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, folks, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. I look forward to seeing you later on today on my premium page at patreon.com slash Brock Page.